dream just became a reality. Can you quite understand what just happened? No. Uh, I, I, I obviously dreamed. I obviously... Leave, leave, leave. I obviously dreamed of scoring, but... If it's a score to fight the winner with in the last minute. It's what you always say, you want to score in the last minute winner. And to do it in front of these fans. I thought I was going to cry, I'm just... I'm just happy, just so, just, I can't put it into words, it's, we've had a dream, we haven't had the best season, myself included, but to do what we've done tonight for these fans, we said before, we see it all on Instagram, all the fans, and to give them this moment, oh, I'm over the moon. Well, you left it late to get the opportunity, right? You're on about 87 minutes, the ball comes to you, you've made the run, what is going through your mind? No, listen, I think as in my position, you make that run ten times and you, you might get it once, but as soon as you get it, you've got to put it away. And I had a lot of time, but I was confident and then I see it go in and I just, I didn't know what to do. Have you ever had a feeling like this in your entire life? I never. I, I said, leading up to this, this is the biggest game of my career. Um, and obviously the emotion, I thought it was going to go to extra time. And then there was time for one more chance and... I'm just so happy that we, we won it for everyone. Look at everyone. It means so much. So, no, nah, over the moon. Have you even got your head around the fact it means European football again next season now? No, not really. I'm thinking of the party tonight. So, uh, but no, it's going to be... I want to celebrate with these fans, with my teammates, my staff, my, my dad, my brother and my two mates are on the front row. So, for them to see it is... And listen to it. Listen. Jared, massive congratulations. Go and celebrate with all those people you just mentioned you deserve it.